Hey guys, David here and welcome to this video. So today I'm gonna add other bed leveling to my CR10 as promised in the previous video. And the process is actually really similar for most printers. So if you wanna add other bed leveling to your printer, then stay tuned. Before I get started with the video, I wanna thank PCB Ways for sponsoring it. They make really high quality, affordable PCBs that are extremely professional. I got a batch of 10 of these made, printed on both sides with VSs and everything silk screened in black and it costs only $5. They also have their shopping festival going on right now till the end of the year where you can save big. And if you are already designing PCBs, then why don't you enter their PCB designing contest where you can win up to $1,000. The entries are open till December 12th. So go ahead, check them out at the link below. Now this video has been in the making quite a long time. I first started wanting to do this video and upgrade my CR10 like three months ago, but stuff has kept getting in the way and I only just now got to finally upgrading the CR10 with the BL Touch, well, BL Touch ripoff uh, bed leveling sensor. What this allows is to compensate for the bed which is let's be honest, less than perfect. I haven't replaced the glass bed yet and it really has quite a bit of, bit of a dip inside. And even after I replace it with something like a mirror, which is gonna be a lot flatter, having bed leveling still is really great because you don't have to fiddle around with any leveling screws anymore. You can just have it run in the beginning of your program and it's gonna be perfect first layer every time. So let's talk about how I install it. Now, physically installing it was pretty easy. For the CR10, I just downloaded a model that was already made from Thingiverse. I'm gonna have it linked down below and printed it and was able to just mount the sensor. Then, of course, I have to connect the electronics as well and I just made some extension cables for the three and the two pin connector. Uh, you can use servo extensions, they will fit perfectly for this. You can need two of them. And then we sadly have to do some soldering and some cutting inside of the control box of the CR10. The sensor part of the BL Touch will replace the Z-axis limit switch, but the BL Touch also needs power and a signal to know when he has to sense and do all that stuff. And for that we need an I.O. pin. Now the easiest way to get an I.O. pin in the CR10 controller box is to use the one from the beeper. Now, if you're like me, the beeper is more annoying than helpful anyways, so I have no problem giving it up at all. The alternative would be using some of the SD card pins, but those are actually like really important, so I wouldn't want to do that. Now, I'm no professional or expert in this area, so I'm gonna have some detailed guides down below how the exact conversion process goes. These are the guides that I followed as well, but the short of it is that you basically use the brown wire that comes from the LCD and you can cut it and use this wire which is going to go to the controller and you connect that up to the BL Touch servo connector and you can also give the BL Touch power and connect it up to the Z-axis limit switch. Make sure to unblock the limit switch itself, otherwise it's not going to work. Then once you have it all connected up, it's not going to do much at all or anything at all because the stock firmware of the CR10 of course doesn't support all the bed leveling. Now to remedy that we have to install a custom version of Marlin which the CR10 is based on as well. There are some really great already pre-made configurations for the CR10, the CR10S and all the different variants and probably also for most other printers so you can just google for that and download it or you can configure Marlin yourself depending on how uh, well you know it. I myself have never uh, custom configured Marlin before, so I used uh, pre-made configuration which I found linked down below. And I just opened it up inside of Arduino Studio, which is a great way to uh, work with that. I'm gonna have some guides linked down below on Marlin as well. And I just kinda looked through it. It was really interesting to see all the different features. You can enable and disable them by uncommenting and commenting certain things and you can adjust really a ton of things and I'm certainly going to play around with it a bit more in the future. To get the new firmware onto the CR10 however uh, you need 
a way to program it. Because Creality wanted to save some space on a microcontroller, they didn't burn a bootloader on there, meaning that you can't just upload it via USB. Instead, you have to use a programming board, like this tiny ISP here, and I'm gonna have some link down below. You can also use an Arduino to do that. In using that board, we are gonna flash a bootloader onto the CR10, which is then gonna allow us to just upload new firmware over the USB port. If you are running into memory issues with that, then you might wanna upload the firmware directly to it, but in my case, it worked fine. It is using like almost 98% of the memory uh, Marlin configuration, but there are some features in Marlin that you can turn off and save some memory, but just know that you can't use all the features, uh, otherwise you're gonna run out of memory. Then the last thing we have to do is also add the command to our G-code creator. Uh, in my case, it's Cura, and I just added it into the start G-code. I'm gonna have it appear here, what you have to add in there. Then automatically, it, your printer is gonna probe the bed before every print. One last thing we have to do on the printer side before we can start is set the Z offset. The way that the sensor works is relative. It just touches down and it touches down at many different points. You can specify how many. I'm using five at the moment because my bed is really unlevel. But if you're using, let's say, a mirror, then it's going to be mostly flat. Then you can just use like two, or like three, or two, even two uh, per axis. So in my case, it's using five by five, so 25 points. That takes quite a long time to probe, but that gives also the most accurate result. It just probes this point and then it knows relative how high they are, but it doesn't know the absolute value because we haven't tuned it yet. So we have to go in and change the C offset in the settings. And the way we do that is just run homing operation, which is gonna use the BL touch to home your printer. And then it usually moves up a bit again. So we can just manually move it to C0 and then check how high it is away from the build plate. Then using the C offset and homing every time, we can adjust it so that the height between the wheel plate and the extruder is just how we want it. Basically, just like we would be adjusting the little leveling knobs. And after that, make sure to remember to save the configuration as well, so when you turn off the printer, it's not gonna forget it all again. And then, it's happy printing! Now, your first layer should be super uniform all across the build plate every time and you don't have to worry about ha having the, your bed perfectly level anymore. Now you still want to have it somewhat level because the sensor can only compensate for so much but like a millimeter or so across the bed is going to be perfectly fine. Now I explained the procedure for how it was for the CR10 but most Chinese machines are going to be pretty much the same in, in this way. Some of them Maybe already have the bootloader on them, some of them not, but you can just Google and you're gonna find a guide for your specific printer, but most of them are gonna be pretty much what I just described. So if you have converted your printer, maybe let me know down below and tell me how it went, what kind of printer you have. And also make sure to subscribe to not miss any future videos. If I kinda move away to the side a bit, I can already hint at one future video. And if you want to know more about what I'm up to, follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. I regularly post on there so, some teasers about projects that I'm working on. So thanks for watching and until next time.